Welcome back to Welsh Miniature Board Gamer, and today I'm going to review some Reaper miniatures on a, you know, a uh, very saturated market of miniature manufacturers. I'm seeing if they live up to, you know, what they used to be. So this is the Damaris Duskin. Dusk Warden, uh, one of the Reaper's black, Bones Black miniatures, which I haven't actually uh, painted up before. So I'm quite interested to crack this open and have a little look at what we get inside here and what sort of details there are on this miniature. So I've had Reaper Bones before, but usually I've had them in the white plastic and they have been pretty awful, generally speaking. But I can see straight away that the face here is really well defined, uh, which is really nice and can be a sign of a really good quality. So I'm really liking that. Seem to be a lot of detail as well, sharp detail, you know, it's not like that soft stuff which the white used to be. So as a bit more of a look. Yeah, the, the it's not as floppy either, this black stuff. So yeah, it's... A really interesting uh, plastic. I, I kind of like it because it seems to hold shape really well and hold detail nice. You know, uh, so yeah. There are uh, no mold lines that I can see, but there's a slight one um, across the hat, but the, the detail's really nice and, the, you know, it's going to be easy to clean up, I think, because it is this plastic. There we are, that's the mold line. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, really nice uh, details on them, and I think it's going to take paint really well. There's no lines down the legs, which is good because, like often with the you know these sort of miniatures, you have these big like seam lines going across, uh, like anything that's like pointing outwards. But no, on these it looks actually really nice. So, as a size comparison, here is another Reaper miniature. This is uh, one of the troopers. I think it was um, as he sculpted by Kevin White. Uh, but that's a little bit of the problem with Reaper is the scales are way out. You know, one miniature doesn't necessarily marry up to another miniature very well in scale. Although this one, compared to most, marries up pretty well, I would say. Um, you know... The proportions seem roughly right. Maybe not on that one, but say with this one now, that looks roughly right, you know. For a female figure, that seems pretty good. So this is what I managed to get once she's painted up. So here she is, all painted up, and I think she's looking pretty darn good, you know. Uh, I went for sort of, you know, brown leathers and a rather opulent or expensive um, colour. So, you know, there's rich reds, etc. on the scabbard. But as you can see, the details on the face are really good, you know, considering this wasn't the most expensive miniature in the world. You know, and it was like the Reaper's bones, not uh, like a Reaper metal or anything. So, you know, it's a bit more of like their value range. So my biggest conundrum when painting this miniature was what colour should I do the hair and all. So it took, that was my biggest decision in this whole painting process was that should I do it blonde or should I do it like a black, you know, as sort of raven coloured but no I decided on the blonde for a bit of a change and I think it really worked out well she looks well she looks as I wanted her and she has been used actually for my ghost archipelago campaign which uh, yeah she she was my uh, captain and uh, yeah she did pretty darn good for herself so I'm quite pleased that uh, the miniature, yeah, it looks as good as she does, and really good for the price. So my my score on that one is a good nine out of ten. It is really nice quality, and uh, I've got absolutely no qualms about this miniature. So next we've got Candy, the anime anime hero. So she's part of the Chronoscope uh, range of the, the miniatures, and she is a metal miniature, as you can see. Now she was, I think, about three pounds something, I think, or four pounds something. So again, quite a cheap miniature. Uh, but yeah, this one is made of metal, so it's going to be a little bit harder for you to see any detail before I paint her up. As is, you know, the usual with uh, metal miniatures. But yeah, you get one of these, like, slaughter bases with this miniature. 
which you didn't get with the bones, obviously. And, well, straight away, uh, she's a bit of a sort of skinny pin-up style, cartoon style, obviously, because she's an anime hero. Uh, so she's a bit spin spindlier, maybe, than um, the previous Mincha, and more than, like, say, if you put her up against a GW uh, Mincha or something, she would look quite tiny. But, you know, I think she is meant to be, like, a teenager, you know, because she's this sort of anime style. So that that would probably be why. There's bits of fla uh, flash on her, but uh, no mold lines that I can see that um, need to be tended with, which is really good, as usual. Uh, the face detail looks really quite nice. Again, um, it's a metal miniature, and that's what I'm usually looking for, is face detail on these sort of things. Sometimes uh, it's so smooth that you can't really get any sort of... Uh, depth to them and uh, this shows that there is a nice sculpture so I'm quite looking forward to um, to painting her up and actually seeing how much detail she has once she is done. So yeah she's in this rather awkward pin-up pose but uh, if she was standing upright comparing her to the, again this other Reapers miniature very sort of similar size uh, so that's good. We like them to be, you know, of a similar size. I would say she is meant to be like a teenager, so she is a bit shorter than maybe uh, other 28 mils, etc. So, like, compared to her, she's considerably smaller, but I think the pirate is meant to be more of an adult. So, uh, you know, I can explain that away. Against the psychologist, again... That looks pretty good to me. The size is nice, spot on. Not too much of a worry. Against Agatha here, well, Agatha is a weird scale. <laughs> I don't know what they were doing with her, but she looks more like a, a child. But, uh, yeah. Again, against the Antarctic Explorer, looking pretty good. You know, he's a full-grown, big, beefy man, and that shows. So, painted up, I went for the candy floss colours and, like, the typical anime Japanese schoolgirl type outfit and I think she looks really good. Uh, I like the pink actually I used on the gun which I was really sort of not sure about when I was doing it but actually yeah why not pink gun you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah the skin as you can see is really nicely um, detailed. You know it's quite smooth because she's a small feminine miniature but there's enough detail that you can pick out like the kneecaps and all, so it's not too smooth, even for my painting style, where I should really use much more layers than I do. But, you know, being called Candy, I painted her like hair pink, etc. I think, uh, yeah, she's, she's quite a pretty little model. I'm quite happy with her. She's quite sturdy, even though she's skinny. And the face actually has got quite a bit of detail. Again, a, a Reaper are really knocking it out of the park here. And, I'm really enjoying painting these miniatures. So, yeah, so far I would say that Reaper is a good brand to uh, buy miniatures from, you know? Considering there's so many that you can't, you've got a choice of now these days, it's good to find someone that I'm generally finding I like all of the, their miniatures. So next we got Professor Pringle. Uh, from the Chronoscope range, uh, as you can see, this was £5.79 at the time of buying, uh, and it is a metal miniature. So let's crack it open. They're in these clamshells, which they all seem to be. Yeah, smack it on the table. So again, it got another one of these little bases, the slotter bases, and here is the miniature. So, uh, small amount of flash, like, you know, on the end of the wand, as you, uh, wand pointing stick, or wand if you want to use her for a, uh, you know, sort of modern wizard campaign, uh, Hogwarts style. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's a small amount, and there is a fine line running across the top of the arm, where it was sort of been, you know, it's a uh, mold line. So, uh, but it's such a fine one, I think we're going to be able to sand it off really easily. Uh, the face looks really nice again. Um, there's plenty of details in the face, uh, raised areas, depth to it. So I'm thinking, you know, she's going to show up quite nice. And seeing that she's a female miniature, you know, 
that's hard to do is get you know so they look you know, both attractive sort of feminine uh yet you know get detail because they can get too smooth and you end up just looking like a little balloon the skeleton yeah they an awful lot of flash on the skeleton obviously because he's so bony and brittle you know uh he looks fairly strong although his neck does look like there's a bit of a play in it which might snap off which is a bit you know yeah the stand and all yeah it looks fine you know what more can be said for a autonomy skeleton <laughs> you know it looks okay it looks fine But yeah, back to uh, Professor Pringle. Yeah, I really like her. I think she's going to paint up really quite well. Uh, she actually fits on her base without gluing, which is nice. She's in a good, nice tight fit. So against our Candy here. So yeah, she's bigger than Candy. Because I think she's meant to be a proper adult. Obviously, she's a professor against like a teenager. So yeah, I, I, I can work with that. I can work with the... Um, scale it looks like it it fits quite nicely uh yes again another one maybe the, uh, the uh, plastic one was a bit short there but not too bad so the antarctic explorer yeah you know he's a beefy dude so you know he's wearing lots of layers agatha again what the hell with agatha i don't know what scale they thought they were doing maybe it's a giant 15 mil or something i don't know but uh, yeah but overall yeah really nice Let's see what she looks like painted up so she, here's professor pringle painted up uh again lovely detail in the face um managed to pick up lots of like folds in the clothes went for like obviously like she looks like she's a bit of an old-fashioned uh, dresser, so I went for, you know, the proper uh, polar neck, um, sort of 70s style, maybe, or 60s. And I think she looks really nice with her beehive hairstyle, a lot of detail on her, and I'm really pleased with her. All in all, I can't uh, really praise the miniatures that I've picked of Reapers anyway. Enough, they got lots of detail and really nice to paint up. So, yeah, if you're on the market for any miniatures, have a look for uh, some Reapers, and you might be able to find something. Well, there's a miniature for everyone on, in the Reapers range, so. Until next time, goodbye from me, Welsh Miniature Board Gamer.